Welcome to this introduction to scanner photography, also known as scanography. My name is Dale Hoopingarner. Did you know that you can use your digital scanner as a camera? You can take pictures with the scanner of flowers, leaves, and other objects that produce beautiful nearly 3D effects. The high resolution that is offered by today's off-the-shelf scanners means you can expand the resulting print and make a very high resolution result, often in stunning detail. To use your scanner as a camera, totally remove the cover. Be sure to clean the glass very thoroughly because any stray dust or pollen will show up on the resulting image. Arrange your flowers or leaves or other objects face down. You're actually building up the image from the back. Run the preview of the scan and then adjust the arrangement or the settings of the scan appropriately to get the image you desire. Finally, turn off all the lights in the room. You'd like the room as dark as possible to make the black outline of the flowers. Finally, take your scan. The result can be a very high resolution file, but they can get rather large. 1200 dots per inch means a 450 megabyte file, but you can then print it at three to four times size and achieve a very high resolution 300 dots per inch image which is about the maximum that the human eye can detect anyway. When editing, be sure to always use the TIFF format, because JPEG loses some image quality every time you save the file. When editing in Photoshop, adjust your brush settings for the size you want, the sharpness or the softness of the brush, and in the opacity as well, as appropriate for the edge of the flower or leaf that you are editing. The Spot Healing Brush can be a wonderful tool to get rid of any spare dust or pollen specks that may otherwise mar your image. Here's a view of me editing a picture. Notice how I have taken a rough outline of black around all the parts of the flowers and petals. Then I'm going to go back and edit closer with a fine brush softer as appropriate to get close to all the little edges. Thank you. Now sit back and enjoy some of the results that this technique can produce.